Live starts now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Justin Betty. One of the suspects in an armed robbery last night in Stevens Point has now been arrested. Happened a little before 9 last night. Stevens Point police say two suspects used a handgun to take numerous electronic items as well as a vehicle. That vehicle was found by the Washington County Sheriff's Office who chased the suspect into Milwaukee. Once it was stopped, police found one of the suspects inside who was arrested. That case is still under investigation. A Lincoln County officer has been cleared of any wrongdoing in a deadly car chase. David Burdick crashed into a tree and died in Lincoln County while trying to outrun Lincoln County Sheriff's deputies back in June. Sheriff's officials say that chase exceeded speeds of 100 miles per hour at times. The district attorney studied dash cam footage and photos from the scene and found Deputy Dean Dockin did not cause that crash nor force Burdick to continue driving at such high speeds, adding that was Burdick's own decision. All right, outside, Jeff, uh, geared up for some changes this week. Yeah, the sun is now set. High temperatures are recorded for the day, and look what we did. High temperatures in the 60s, but like Justin said, changes are on the horizon. Colder temperatures tomorrow in the 50s, followed by a secondary shot of cold air getting in here on Thursday, Veterans Day. That'll hold high temperatures this weekend in the 30s. But outside now, it's 51, already colder in Rhinelander, right? 50 over here in Glidden. So cold fronts right here, warm air over here, cold over there. Uh, we'll have lows tonight basically down in the 30s. Okay, on the radar, here's the front right now. This is basically Virga, precipitation in the clouds, the radar sees but it's not reaching the ground. You might see a sprinkle or a flurry tonight. Otherwise, just a wind shift out of the northwest that will cool us off tonight. Our bigger issue is this front over here. That is moving our way for Thursday, Veterans Day, and that one's going to change our lives this weekend. Our forecast for tonight, though, is mostly cloudy skies. A sprinkle or flurry can't be ruled out. With low temperatures down near freezing, your full forecast is coming up, Justin. All right, thank you, Jeff. A new CNN poll finds Americans are split on President Biden's performance with a slight majority already frustrated with his work in office. The poll was conducted before Biden's infrastructure package made its way through the House. In the poll, respondents said their biggest frustration was his focus. 58% say he isn't paying enough attention to the right issues. A third saying that's the economy. A fifth saying it's COVID-19. Republicans have blamed Democrats' proposed spending for their recent drop in poll numbers, while progressives have complained about not doing enough. The U.S. is now allowing international visitors again as today the Biden administration lifted its pandemic travel ban on more than 30 countries. Foreign nationals can now fly into the U.S. if they are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and show proof of vaccination before flying. These are scenes from London today celebrating that announcement. The new policy applies in a number of European nations, including the U.K., as well as France, Italy, Belgium, and Spain, as well as China. China and Iran, among others. Really, really exciting. I mean, I was meant to go just before COVID happened, and obviously it's been delayed this long, so it's really exciting to finally be able to go, yeah. This move comes as the U.S.'s long-term COVID outlook has improved dramatically in recent weeks following that late summer surge caused by the Delta variant and kids going back to school. The Ambassador Bridge, which connects Detroit to Windsor, Ontario, is now busy with traffic following today's move. It's been open now for the first time in about 20 months, dating back to the Trump administration back in early 2020. Canada's COVID numbers have also been dropping for the last month or so. They are now averaging less than 3,000 cases and 25 deaths per day for all of Canada over the last week. Meanwhile, the number of new COVID-19 cases per day here in Wisconsin has now been rising again for about a week straight. Today, the State Department of Health Services reports about 1,200 new cases, raising our daily average for the last week to about 2,200. DHS reports three new deaths today as well, bringing our daily average for the last week up to about 13. The University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health is taking part in a national clinical trial testing the Moderna vaccine in children aged six months to five years old. Those trials started back in August. The groups are smaller overall than the adult trials, about 4,000 kids, but they are more focused on identifying potential risk populations. Researchers say the trials have gone as expected so far.
to, to date uh, in this trial and uh, in, in the other uh, clinical trial done by Pfizer, um, nothing out of the ordinary has arisen other than some sore arm or, or maybe a temporary fever. Pfizer's vaccine received emergency authorization to have 5 to 11 year old age group at the end of October. Four year old Theo Rodriguez got his vaccine recently, says he's excited to help other kids like himself stay healthy. How, do, how was that? Good. <laughs> Did it hurt? No. Are you having fun today? Yeah. What's fun about today? Uh, not being sick anymore. There are dozens of other sites like this one as well across the U.S. and Canada testing the vaccine. The kids who get this shot will be monitored over the next 14 months, including periodical blood draws, temperature checks, and questionnaires. Right now, the Biden administration is facing a deadline to respond to legal challenges surrounding the president's vaccine requirement for large private companies, not yet in effect. This has the battle over vaccine mandates seems to just continue getting more and more heated. Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. Today, two sides to the drive to vaccinate America and the world against COVID-19. Star-spangled celebrations and joyful reunions in airports as fully vaccinated international travelers are once again able to visit the United States. We are really happy to see him here after six years. Contrast that with the heated pushback over vaccine mandates. The Biden administration forced to respond today to an appeals court decision temporarily blocking its vaccine or weekly testing requirement for private companies with a hundred or more workers. If OSHA can tell people to wear a hard, hard hat on the job, right. to be, be careful on chemicals, it can put, put, put in place these simple measures to keep our workers safe. Florida is one of several Republican-led states challenging the mandate. No cop, no firefighter, no nurse, nobody should be losing their jobs because of these jabs. As some business owners protest. We feel that it's an overreach of OSHA to get in between me and the employee. Others have already adopted vaccine requirements. We are about 21,000 uh, crew members or employees. Uh, we're down now to, I think, under 300 people who have told us they don't plan to get vaccinated. That is COVID vaccinations are picking up for a new pool of Americans, children age 5 to 11. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden visiting a school today in Virginia hosting a vaccine clinic. It was also the first school to administer the polio vaccine back in 1954. A nod to this country's long history of requiring vaccines. It's Alice Barr reporting. A Lactiflambo man has taken on a major task trying to raise awareness for a cause near and dear to his heart. Also one he says is having a big impact on his community. We'll show you what he's doing in a few minutes. But first, Jeff's in with your full forecast, including the possibility of some snow later this week. That's next on Newswatch 12 at 5. One of our biggest sales of the year, the Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Get huge savings on our already low prices, up to 50% off. Plus, see what's new, what's in stock, and save 25% on our great accessories. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale and get the best for free. Through Saturday, get free installation on our best-selling carpet, free estimates, and interest-free financing. That's right. Free carpet installation, free estimates, and interest-free financing. Only at Carpet City Flooring Center. Come see why contractors and designers choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs. And get the best for free with free carpet installation through Saturday. Carpet City, our prices will blow. I have worked at Huffcor for the last 36 years. Huffcor, closing the plant, moving production to Mexico. I gave my life and my body to that place. Ron Johnson pushed through a tax law that rewards outsourcing. Companies can bring profits back from Mexico tax-free. And worse, Ron Johnson profited personally from outsourcing. He has doubled his wealth since taking office. Tell Ron Johnson to stop putting his profits above our jobs. You know what I'm going to miss most about space? What's that? How easy it is to keep up my saving habit. There's nothing to buy up here. We're making it easier to save on Earth, too. 
When you open a savings builder account at BMO Harris, you can get a cash reward for every month you save. Anything to help launch my savings? Sure. When you open a checking account, we'll give you $200 to kickstart your savings progress. $200 and a monthly savings reward. It's a way to save that won't weigh you down. <laughs> It's a little space humor. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. One of our biggest sales of the year, the Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Get huge savings on already low prices, up to 50% off. Plus, see what's new, what's in stock, and save 25% on our great accessories. Sixty-one, sixty-four, and sixty-two. Yes, those were the high temperatures the last three days around here. But those are all done. The sixties are over for us. We have a cold front coming through right now. Uh, cooler temperatures tomorrow in the fifties, followed by the coldest air of the season so far arriving for us on Veterans Day on Thursday, but more likely after that in a Friday. All right. So the average high is forty-three. The record high is sixty-nine. Look at that record low zero uh, back in two thousand and three, and the sun set earlier at 435 that's a change right so here it is now so here's the cooler air to the west of us that's not the cold air yet this is kind of this round one the first cold front's coming through right now we'll have highs near 50 tomorrow meaning much of tomorrow spent in the 40s and then the colder stuff gets in here later on in the week right so here we are today with the cold stuff kind of just on our door to the west of us that's going to settle over us a bit the cooler stuff tonight and throughout the day tomorrow but then look what happens on Thursday. That's the cold stuff there. That's going to swing through on Thursday night, changing some rain showers over to some snow showers and then some flurry action probably Friday into Saturday morning as high temperatures get stuck in the low 30s around here. So we're going to say goodbye to the warm temperatures. They were nice while they lasted, but back to reality, right? It is November in northern Wisconsin. We have some colder temperatures on the way and also a little bit of snow maybe on Friday. Here's the trend though going forward so graphically 51 tomorrow 50 on Wednesday 48 for Thursday and then that reinforcing shot of cold air gets in here later Thursday highs near 37 Friday and a couple of these may be a bit conservative we could easily hold high temperatures near freezing Saturday Sunday into Monday so here it comes uh, get your puffy coat back out right out there today though lots of sunshine and temperatures still love sunshine even in November we had that across the area today but we had increasing clouds through the afternoon the front one, the first front is just right across the area now. And this looks like we're in trouble, but we're not. This is Virga. It's precipitation in the clouds. The radar sees it because it's up there, but it's not reaching the ground because it's falling through some very dry air down here at the surface, so it evaporates. Uh, but a couple of you could see a sprinkle or a flurry tonight. Uh, it will not be a big rain or a big snow. And then our attention turns over here to the west. That's that, uh, getting its act together. This is a front over here and a storm system that will be in the area on Thursday. Rain showers, Veterans Day on Thursday, followed by some snow showers. And there's more of these upstream. It could be an active week next week for us. Our forecast then for tonight, though, is lots of clouds out there, a couple of sprinkles or flurries can't be ruled out with low temperatures down near 32 for tomorrow. All right, partly cloudy skies, meaning some sunshine, right? Highs back up near 50, meaning much of tomorrow in the 40s with a west breeze around 5. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Mattress shows a uh, declining temperatures, right? There is that rain on Thursday, ending as some snow on Friday, and this cold temperatures for the weekend. Justin? All right, thank you, Jeff. In other news, running a marathon is an intimidating idea, often taking months of dedicated training unless you're a lacto flambeau man named adrian pearson he is a tribal member who says he was searching for a big challenge for himself and came to this 26.2 mile answer just kind of on a whim wanted to challenge myself and make it a really good challenge one that was worth uh struggling and seeing what we're made of Pearson may not have had the training or the experience that most do before they run a marathon, but he did have a major motivation, one that helped, he says, help push him across the finish line. There's a little bit of a bias towards Native Americans and drinking and whatnot, and I just wanted to show that there's more to the culture there, and we have a lot of people that can overcome and accomplish whatever they want to do. 
I said this is only one step in his mission. He plans to challenge himself even harder next year with multiple marathons to raise awareness and support for healthy living. A new study shows e-cigarette users are more likely to have early strokes than traditional cigarette smokers and far more than people who don't smoke at all. Researchers at New York's Mount Sinai Hospital found stroke victims who vaped had their strokes at just 48 years of age on average. It's 11 years younger than the median for cigarette smokers, 59 years old. However, cigarette smokers are still significantly more likely to experience a stroke overall. It just happens to vapors earlier in life, according to their study. It's still unclear what actually causes the strokes. The authors believe it could be the nicotine found in both products. More than 6 million adults in the U.S. have heart failure, a chronic condition where the heart just isn't able to pump enough blood and oxygen to the body. But there may be hope for those who have heart failure symptoms. Mandy Gaither tells us more about a new treatment that doctors say was just performed for the first time in the U.S. After months of struggling with shortness of breath, Robert Dye knew something was wrong. I couldn't lay flat on my back because I couldn't breathe at night. In October, he was admitted to the hospital and diagnosed with acute decompensated heart failure. Cardiologists at The Ohio State University Richard M. Ross Heart Hospital say the 65-year-old is the first patient in the U.S. to get a new type of treatment for it. I can actually feel my heart beating in my chest, which I wasn't able to do before. A catheter was placed through a vein in his neck and into Dai's heart, where electrodes were used to stimulate a nerve. Doctors say early studies show this can increase how strong the heart beats to pump more blood without significantly raising a patient's heart rate. By increasing the amount that the heart is naturally doing, we can then start to repair his heart using medications and other treatments that we have available. Dr. Sita Ramesh Amani and his team performed Dai's investigative procedure. While the treatment is still being studied, he says this could be a huge step forward in helping heart failure patients. Traditional therapies aren't well designed to increase the amount of blood flow from the heart. The couple that we do have out there have a lot of side effects. Days after the procedure, before leaving the hospital, Dai says he was able to walk a mile. It gave me a second chance of life. If it hadn't been done, I wouldn't be here today. A chance at more time with his great-grandchild. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. It's amazing science there. Still ahead, we have tonight's edition of Your Two Cents. Plus, we'll show you how one newlywed couple's marriage got off to an unexpectedly exciting or tense start. That's next on Newswatch 12 at 5. Ah, the joys of online ordering. You never have to leave the comforts of your home. Right? And our go-to is Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Really? You betcha. Got this bag. Delivered yesterday. Oh, and they're sporting goods. Awesome. They've got all that? When I need workwear, I know where I'm headed. They've got kitchen gadgets, Hunting gear, canning cookware, supplies, tools, decor, pet toys, lanterns. Wow, I can't believe they have all that. Bags. It's all here at farmandfleet.com. Just a convenient click away. Toys. Find quality products. All online at farmandfleet.com. Well said. November is harvesting season, but this year, Menominee Casino Resort wants everyone to reap the bounty. It's time to harvest the winnings. Start with our hot seat drawings every Friday from 5 to 9.30. Then on Saturdays, come play for a chance to try the Harvest the Winnings Punch Board Game. 25 winners will get to uncover free-to-play prizes before five players move on for a chance at a $2,000 gift card to Qualheim's True Value. Menominee Casino Resort. There's something for everyone. For Ed B, who can spot exactly 57 types of trees thanks to his Medicare allowance for new glasses, we've got you. For Jackie R, who's added umpteen flower pots now that her allergy meds are covered, we've got you. For Michelle K, who likes celebrating life's big moments, like finding affordable premiums and, more importantly, finishing chemo, we've got you. For everything that happens to happen, we've got you. Aspirus Health Plan. Everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun with prices so low you'll have to bend over to see them. Prices that make your eyes pop out. Want to sleep watching TV? Check out our recliners. You want to pass up face first in a sofa? Check out our sofas. 
and beds. We've got beds. Check us out. Price is so low, you'll think we're crazy. Because everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun. A newlywed couple from Kentucky says their big day was almost spoiled by a hot air balloon trouble. Conroy Deluche is more on the wild ride from Lexington. Sunday, November 7th, 2021, the day that Derek and Emily Morton became husband and wife. Family and friends smiled as the newlyweds shared their first dance. They married just hours before this moment, a ceremony that ended with a hot air balloon ride soaring above scenic Fayette County. The, the colors, the fall colors, it was just one of the most beautiful things that I've experienced. But that picturesque route did not end the way it was supposed to. When it came time to land, Derek and Emily say the winds kept blowing as the pilot tried to avoid a crash. Flew into a tree, the basket jars, we all fall to the bottom of the basket, the basket lands on the ground, we put, come up. They say the balloon touched down in the backyard of a neighborhood, but the pilot took them up once again. And I'm thinking that we're going to land, I'm thinking that he's not going to take the balloon back up, but he hits the, the fire, makes the balloon go back up in the air, and before you know it, we're back up in the air and, and flying across I-75. <laughs> they eventually settled in a farm off Todd's Road. This started the second step of the couple's journey to the reception, a long walk to the road. We wasn't dressed for it. Uh, yeah, we I, needed I, boots I, and jeans. We didn't have that. It was thistles and, and all kinds of rough patches, water that you had to cross, and it was just bad. Derek and Emily eventually got a ride with an LEX 18 photographer and celebrated their big day a little later than first planned. But despite all the ups and downs, Mr. and Mrs. Morton say they do it all over again. I would Absolutely. do it again. Absolutely. As much as I complained, I would do it again. Crazy story. It's time now to hear what some Newswatch 12 viewers are saying this week on tonight's edition of Your Two Cents. I would love to see a where are they now kind of or even just, you know, something during the 4 o'clock or the morning show. Just to see, we've, we've seen all of these reporters and anchors come and go over the years and just wondering where they all are now. And everyone's doing a great job. And have a great day. Thank you. I just want to know where the dog is because uh, I think we can all agree the dog is great. Uh, we enjoy seeing the dog on the news. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for just bring the dog back. It was around. Thank you for calling. If you want to make your voice heard on your two cents, give us a call at 715-365-8812, extension 319. Remember, I respond to some of the calls on Fridays on my two cents. We'll be right back. When you're the victim of an accident, it can feel like the weight of the entire world is on your shoulders. Why not let us take that crippling burden off your back? Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. Artist Christine Alfari believes that art should be as unique as the individual who creates it and collects it. Make an appointment to visit Christine's studio or visit online, nestled in your favorite chair, and find the perfect work of art to reflect your life and spirit. Waiting for the right time to replace your old drafty windows? Well, your wait is over. Because Renewal by Anderson's Black Friday event is going on now with unprecedented savings on our custom-built replacement windows. Our replacement windows are made with an exclusive Fibrex composite material that's vastly superior to vinyl. They won't warp or bow and never need painting. Each window is custom-built in the USA, installed with precision and care by our certified master installers. And both our windows and our installation are backed by the nation's best warranty. Don't waste your money on poor quality vinyl windows. This unbelievable Black Friday event makes Renewal by Anderson replacement windows more affordable than ever before. Don't delay a minute longer. Our Black Friday event only comes around once a year. This limited time offer and very special financing is the best reason to buy now. Installation is always included. Call now and schedule your free design consultation. Call Renewal by Anderson today. Get your outdoor projects done right with Menards. With the best selection of pressure-treated lumber and the inventory to back it up, now is the time to get that outdoor project you've been meaning to get to done. Best yet, we've made it convenient for you to get in and get out. 
Whichever the project, Menards has the pressure-treated lumber to get it done. Save big money at Menards. Play your way. Dine your way. Stay your way. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Win your way. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Jeff, it's November 8th, but we've had three straight days of 60s, at least in the afternoon. What a November weekend that right? was. Beautiful. Wasn't that fantastic? Oh, we got outside, we Low 60s. It. Yep. Uh, things are changing out there now, though. A cold okay. front's coming through. There's two of them. One's coming through tonight. The other's mm -hmm. going to arrive on Thursday, Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. And that's the really cold one coming through on Thursday. But for now, check out these temperatures. Currently, it's still 51 in Rhinelander, but our air comes out of the northwest right now. The wind has shifted. Cooler temperatures are back to our northwest. That is moving our direction. So here's the clouds with that as well. Looks like it's raining or snowing. It's not. This will be Virgo, although there could be a couple sprinkles tonight. It will not be a big deal at all for you or for me. But then looking ahead, your seven day forecast shows what's going on here. Ooh. So low 50s tomorrow and Wednesday, meaning much of the day in the 40s. Then that reinforcing shot of cold air gets here with the front on Thursday with rain, changing to some snow on Friday. And then look at the weekend, low to mid 30s for highs yeah, next sure. weekend. That's different, right? You're not expecting a ton of snow, no, right? No, no, this no. no. Just, but, but it'll be a change yeah. for sure. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you for joining us on News Watch 12 at 5. NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt is next.